In this video, I want to quickly go over the basics of how to write an object-oriented adventure game in Object Pascal. Now, in previous videos recently, I've shown how to create a very simple uh, basis of a game using Lazarus, which is an IDE for free Pascal. In this video, I want to show you how to extend the class hierarchy so you can have a, a deeper descent of, of classes to include rooms and things that hold other things and so on. And I'll show you some examples both in Lazarus, which is a free IDE, a cross-platform IDE, and also in Delphi, which is quite a well-known commercial IDE for Windows, uh, but with some restrictions, you can also get a free version of Delphi, and I'll give the links down below. So without more, more ado, let's uh, see how you'd go about doing this. Oh, I should say before going on, if you want to know the nitty gritty details of writing adventure games and object oriented adventure game, I've got a whole series on that subject. Now the languages I use in that series are principally C Sharp and Java, but the techniques I use and explain in that series could be applied to Pascal. So if you're a, an experienced programmer, that will give you a head start. Okay, let's see what to do next. So very quickly, let's start by looking at Lazarus. Now, in the previous example, I just had a very, very simple adventure game that uh, let you move around. Now, in this game, I've slightly extended that, but it's essentially just a moving game. You can move from room to room, and you can also enter command look to see where you are. The class hierarchy is very simple. Here I've got a room unit. You can see it has exits in the uh, campus directions, north, south, west, and east, and it has a name and a description. Now, the room class has descended from the thing class. This is how I do that in object Pascal. And down here, the constructor creates a room and it's inherited the constructor from the super class, that is from the thing class. So it passes the name and the description to that class, and then it just initializes the uh, exits. So let's have a look at the thing class. All that does is it has a name and a description. These are strings and some methods for accessing them and this uh, constructor. So pretty basic. Now, in my Delphi adventure game, you can see here, I've extended the class library significantly. You can see all these classes listed in the right-hand window. So let's have a look, what are these? So thing unit, that's just my class thing. Very similar to the class that I wrote in Lazarus that I just showed you. Uh, it has a name and a description. The only real difference is I've implemented my own serialization to save and load the game. So they write, the objects write themselves into a stream and uh, reconstruct themselves by reading them, reading themselves from a stream, that is reading data that was previously saved onto disk. Now, I haven't, uh, I'm not going to explain exactly how that's done in this lesson. You can save your data in many different ways. If you're not familiar with streams, you could use the JSON uh, libraries that uh, Delphi or, or Free Pascal has to do serialization, or you could even just write text files with data in. If you're interested in knowing more about how to deal with streams, leave a comment and let me know. Okay, so from thing unit, I've got a descendant, which is a thing holder that inherits the name and the description of thing. Then it's got these various methods to add things uh, to the thing holder. So a thing holder is something like a bag or a chest, some sort of treasure that can contain other things. Uh, in fact, it could be anything that maintains a list of things, as you can see up here. And for example, a room is itself a thing holder because a room in an adventure game is just a location that has some things in. So this time it descends from thing holder, so it can contain a list of things. And then the rooms live in a map. The map here uh, is itself a thing holder. It holds rooms. Then the game itself is manipulated using an implementer class. Implementer is just, it's a sort of a god of the game. It moves things around like a player moving chess pieces 
around on a chessboard. I've got a debug unit, it just prints debug messages, some constants to define the exits, and then ACTA, the ACTA unit, again, that's a thing holder. Currently, the ACTA class only defines one object, that is the player. So the player has to move around the room, so I've got these methods to get and set the position and um, to pick up and to take and drop objects. So the player is regarded as a thing holder because the player can uh, accumulate a list of treasures. Now, in this case, I've made it a, a visual uh, program. So you can see here, instead of the um, command line version that I showed previously in Lazarus, I've got this little form. Let's have a look. Where am I? So I press look. So here, very, very basic display here just shows what I've, uh, what, what objects are here. Let me try entering coin. And if I take it, it says, okay, coin taken. And look again. So there's no coin here, but in the actor's inventory. So the take method has transferred from the list that was owned by the room to the list, that is the inventory owned by the uh, actor, that is the player. Now these buttons just move around, no exit, and I can carry on. And then save and load does the streaming to save and load the objects to and from disk. I've got, this is a debug uh, button, so I can just check all the objects in the game. Okay, so I, as I've said, this is a very quick overview. I haven't shown you everything in detail because I've explained so much about adventure gaming in my other series. But if you do want to know more specifically about Delphi or you really, really want me to go through every bit of code line by line in this game, please leave me a comment to tell me. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about this lesson or if you've got any requests for tutorials to do with anything really, but any of the subjects that I cover in my channel, but specifically to do with Pascal adventure games, please leave a comment down below. Remember that I already have quite an in-depth guide to writing adventure games from the ground up, from writing your very first class to creating the whole class hierarchy of rooms and all the other objects in an adventure game. And you'll find that by going to my channel page on YouTube and clicking playlists and searching for the complete guide to adventure game programming. That guide mostly describes uh, programs written in Java and C Sharp, but if you've got a bit of Pascal experience already, you can apply the same techniques to writing in Object Pascal using Lazarus and Free Pascal or Delphi. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any videos in future, and I hope I'll see you again soon.